What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and progressives have said they are coming to flip President Joe Biden on unemployment, you guys. This is your unemployment update and your federal unemployment extension update. Now you guys, I literally just did a video discussing how President Joe Biden said that states can go ahead and extend out benefits on their own, federal benefits, but the government would not be providing any further extensions. Well, progressives were not happy with that. And you guys, I mean, take a look at this guy. Look at this guy, man. This He is having a rough one right now. And I mean, take a look at this. According to Business Insider, according to Title III, the U.S. Code, the president earns about $400,000 per year. That's his salary. And you also get a pension. You get paid for the rest of your life if you're the president of the United States. But you guys, I am convinced that some things are just not worth it. And I mean, look at that face. Right now, he looks like he could use a friend, you guys. And what we're hearing is his approval rating is plummeting just in a free fall amid everything that's going on. He just can't seem to make the right decisions. And that's not it, you guys. You might be thinking, oh, it's the Republican Party's trying to destroy him. The Republican Party right now looks like his best friend. He is dealing with Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi coming in. People think she's pretty much running things right now, and it seems like she is. Now, but that's not all. Now we heard he's got to deal with this one. That's right, you guys. Literally, just about an hour ago, we've heard that progressives are coming out and saying they're coming for Biden. They are not happy about him announcing he will not be extending out federal unemployment benefits. And they said they're going to flip Biden on unemployment, you guys. So he's got to deal with AOC and Nancy Pelosi in the House. He's the President of the United States. And you guys were seeing articles come out like this. Take a look. AOC and other progressives open the door to fighting Biden on renewing federal unemployment benefits. Just released 40 minutes ago, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to dive into this article, get you caught up on the latest, and we're going to see what's going to be happening with federal unemployment benefits. PUA, PEUC, and the $300 per week boost, which are set to expire September 6th, but not if... AOC and progressives have anything to say about it, you guys. So we're going to dive right in, get you caught up on the latest as to what's happening right now, August 25th, 2021. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you like and appreciate these updates, keeping you up to date on everything that's happening right now with unemployment, Congress, stimulus, everything going on with money, don't forget to take a second to smash that like button. I would appreciate it. Just takes a second. Really helps out the channel a ton. Let's YouTube know you think I'm doing a good job. Just takes a second. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. And also be sure to share this out if you think it's going to help out other people. Now, in addition to that, if this is your first time here, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, come join the Ram Fam. I'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on right now. And if you got any specific questions that you want me personally to answer, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. That is by far the best way to get a hold of me. If you got any specific questions that you want me to answer, for you. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. As progressives have said, they are coming to flip Biden on federal unemployment benefits. And if AOC has anything to say about it, they will get extended beyond September. We will see. All right, you guys. So as always, the link in the description below to this article that came out, if you'd like to read it for yourself, came out from Business Insider just 40 minutes ago. And it says, Democrats, they are beginning to assemble a massive $3.5 trillion social spending plan that will muscle through without any Republican votes in the next few months. And yes, they're talking about the second portion of the infrastructure package. As you will recall, this infrastructure package has two parts. The first part is going to be $1 trillion for roads, bridges, and highways. And the second portion is going to be for human infrastructure, the anti-poverty plan, American Families Plan, which is going to be the next stimulus package, the largest that we have seen so far. Now, the article says, but largely left out of this discussion is an extension for federal pandemic unemployment benefits. And it seems highly unlikely that lawmakers in either the House or the Senate will pursue a renewal once they expire on September 6th. So they're saying right now the White House and the Senate are not thinking about extending it beyond September. Imperiling incomes for at least seven and a half million people, says Representative John Yarmuth of Kentucky, the House Budget Committee chair, and he told Insider on Monday that an extension wasn't a part of negotiations at this time. Now, there's usually been one voice who speaks up on contentious issues like this, Representative AOC of New York, and she told Business Insider it's a fight being discussed among progressives like herself right now. And it says the 96 members of the Congressional Progressive Caucus are in early discussions on whether to push for a renewal. So they're discussing this right now, and it may be an opening 
for them to leverage their influence and obtain extra federal aid for struggling Americans. Now, progressives led by Cori Bush successfully pressured Biden administration to unilaterally extend an eviction moratorium earlier this month. So as you guys will recall, the eviction moratorium was extended and we've seen other things that Biden has done. And they're saying he was getting pressured. And what we're hearing is they might be ramping up to do the same for unemployment now, but such an effort could also inject more chaos into a legislation process that Democratic leaders want to choreograph with as little air as possible because of their narrow majorities. Now, there's already been missteps. The group of 10 House Democrats, they rebelled against Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, insisting to pass the bipartisan infrastructure bill only after the Senate cleared a partisan spending plan. And they secured a pledge from Pelosi on Tuesday to pass the bipartisan infrastructure bill in a month instead, regardless of whether the party line plan was approved or not. So we've already had issues and bad amongst Democrats themselves, but some progressives are already raising alarm over the end of the pandemic unemployment benefits, and AOC said it's a major concern of hers, you guys. So we're gonna be seeing if this is gonna be brought up. Literally just said in my last video, I think that before September 6th hits, we're gonna be hearing a lot more about potential extensions of federal unemployment benefits. What we have right now is that the Biden administration has indicated that they have almost no willingness to extend the pandemic unemployment assistance program, she told Insider. We have a Senate that doesn't wanna do it and a White House that doesn't wanna do it. It's gonna take a very committed House, you guys. Now, she conceded that any successful effort would come well after Labor Day. So she's saying if this is gonna be happening, it's likely gonna be happening after the expiration date. Now, progressives are prioritizing the Democrat-only spending plan and hammering out the legislative details that could take many weeks. Now, AOC said progressives are looking into it right now. So we will see, this could be an issue that's gonna be brought up here very soon. Now, Representative Ilhan Omar of Minnesota, the chief vote counter in the caucus told Insider, they still haven't tallied the amount of support in their ranks for a benefit extension. So they're still working to see how many people they could get to back this. Now, it is a conversation that we've been engaged in. We haven't whipped on that as the Progressive Caucus yet, she said. So we will gauge with our caucus to see what we are willing to do in negotiations for that. Now, Almar said that she believes that it is necessary for them to extend these benefits. And she said, I think it's important. I also hear the other side that there's employment available, but the reality is that many of the jobs available are not paying a minimum wage. That brings us back to that conversation of trying to get the $15 per hour, you guys. So man, uh, we're hearing that this is brewing in the works. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now listen to this, Omar and AOC aren't alone in backing an extension. A spokesperson for Representative Cori Bush told Insider that she does as well. Now, however, still, any drive to renew benefits would all but certainly crash into opposition in the Senate due to the resistance from those moderate Democrats, Senator Joe Manchin, Angus King, and probably Kirsten Sinema too. All 50 Democratic senators must stick together for a party line bill to pass setting up no room for error. So even if the House pushes for this, some way they gotta get those moderate Democrats in the Senate on board as well, because this will have to go through the process of reconciliation. Now she said, there's no Republican support for extensions and some members of our caucus are skeptical. Now, despite studies showing no real job growth in Republican states that cut benefits off early, there are still members that are sympathetic to business communities arguments, you guys. So we will see as uh, they're saying, they're starting to rally up, trying to see how much support they have. And they're thinking about making a big push here and pressuring President Joe Biden to flip his stance on federal unemployment benefits. So you guys, this just came out as we're hearing about this new progressive push to flip Biden. However, if you missed my previous video, be sure to check it out as we've heard that right now. They said that over $300 billion was allocated in the last stimulus package, the American Rescue Plan signed into law in March of 2021 for states to receive money to use as however they'd wish. And we heard from President Joe Biden that if states wanna see an extension of federal benefits, the states have the money and they can go ahead and do it on their own. But at this time, the federal government is not gonna be providing any further extensions beyond September 6th. But like I said, we will see if progressives 
have anything to say about that, you guys. So I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a second to smash that like button. I would appreciate it. Just takes a second, helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments down below, share this out, hit the subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell if this is your first time here, so that way you can get notified right away as I release updates. And if you got any specific questions for me, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at Steve. Ram 3. And with that being said, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. Remember, uploads 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, and also random videos throughout the day as news breaks. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me. I'll be sure to catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.